Hey everybody, it's Mary Amy at Yard Arterist. I hope you guys are doing well. I keep forgetting that I've got to turn this thing down some. So let me plug this in. Hold on a minute. Let's put that out. Hope you guys can hear me. Let me know, Let me know if, you if you can hear me. I've got, got, got some folks on here, so y'all tell me if you can hear me, because, geez, Louise, y'all know I'm, I'm challenged. Anyway, it is Friday. Thank the Lord, it's Friday. Um, I have a paint party tomorrow, and then Father's Day is on Sunday. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna sleep on Father's Day. So I hope you guys are doing good. I'm going to show you how to paint the pencil, the teacher's pencil. So we have these as blanks at the store. And I actually have them, hey, echoing. Okay, okay, let me try something. We can hear you, but there's an echo. So let me try this. Hold on, hold on. How about that? Is that better? If not, I can turn this down. We can hear you, but there's still an echo. Okay, I wonder what that should be. Is that plugged in? Y'all let me know if there's still an echo. Okay, okay, so better. better. Thank, Thank you, Leticia. Leticia. How are you doing? doing? Hey, hey, Debbie. Hey, Cindy. I'm, I'm glad, glad you're here. I'm going to paint the teacher's pencil. pencil. So we, we have these as blanks at the store, store, and I meant to show you. Um, when you get these, we don't have a rope with them, but what we do have is we have two pieces of hardware that we don't attach them. You'll have to attach them. Uh, but um, then you can put jute or string or whatever. Now, I'm going to come on one day next week and show you how to make a cute little bow real easy. We're not going to give you the bows, but if you want them, you can get them. I'll show you. How, I mean, you can make them really super simple. Let me try this. Okay. Is that any better? Or we still have an echo? Okay. No echo now. Still an echo. Cindy says no echo now. Hmm. What the heck, y'all? As y'all know, technology hates me. I have everything set with no... Um, Thanks for the echo, but let's see. No echo now is what Cindy said. Okay. So anyway, but I'm going to come back on one day next week and show you how to make a super quick, cute little bow. It's about a bow about like that. And even if you've never made a bow, you don't know how to make a bow. You hate making bows. You know, you suck at making bows. I'm not you're supposed to say that. But anyway, you can make this bow. But that won't be till next week because i got to let these dry. Now, also, I did a kind of an experiment. I did have a regular light yellow on this one with a more brighter look. And then I did, I mixed this yellow and camel 50-50 for this one. Okay. So it really kind of depends on what you want. If you, to me, this looks more like a realistic pencil. Then this looks a little bit more bright, but it's totally whatever you want. So this is how easy it is. I base coated this white. I put the yellow on, of course, the gray, the pink. This, I mix nutmeg and camel. And I actually wrote that on the um, back label for you. You know how we put labels on there? I wrote that on there for y'all. So that's what this color is. Now, this is how easy this is going to go. So I'm going to take this mixture, which is that. And I'm going to take my little foam counter. And you know that you can... Get phone, phone counters anywhere, Walmart, wherever you want to go, Amazon. And all I did on this guy, on the design that I have on, I think it's on the website, is I just went in here and I just did a quarter of rotation on my polka dots, just about a quarter. And the thing is with this, you just put you put the paint on and then you take the paint off, if that makes sense. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense, but that's just kind of how it goes. And I kind of just went in here and did a quarter of rotation. Right, put a little bit more. But y'all let me know. Do you like the brighter pencil? Because I think I like the brighter pencil. But then I painted this one first, and I thought, you know, let's just do it both ways. And the bow that I've got, I've been practicing on making because I'm not the world's greatest bow maker. But my sister was here the other day, and she's been helping me. She's a lot better at making bows than I am. Uh, the bow that I made the other day, is she and I made looks real cute. But I can't really do anything with that till next week. Now, what I thought I would do, is it still echoing now, Kim? Yes, an echo, but we can hear her. I don't understand why is it echoing. That makes me so mad, y'all. I work and work and work and work. 
to try, try to get this stuff to work. work. Uh, uh, hey, Paula, Paula, how are you? You, you like, like the mix one, Charlie? Charlie? Okay. 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 All right. Let me see. Okay, so, so this one has a little, little bit darker, darker background, background, which is what I would call a little, little bit more realistic look. So I just brush that out. And, and what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take, take a little, little bit of white. See, see that's, that's the other thing. thing. I have turned this off. off. The overhead, let's see. I've, I've turned. Let me try something. something. Hold, Hold on, on y'all. Let me just try something. Mike. Is that better? I clicked one more button because Cindy, Cindy gave me a thing. Thought I thought I did what she said, but I, it triggered one more thing in my mind, Cindy. So I did one more thing. So y'all let me know. When you turn it to the side, it goes away. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know y'all. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> y'all, where would I be without y'all? Because y'all know. <laughs> crack myself up okay i'm not the smartest person around when it comes to stuff like that but anyway i uh i sometimes think you know every now and then bruce and i'll have this joke and i'll get something right which is not very often and i'll say i'm a genius i'm a genius look what i did i'm a genius and then like three seconds later i can't even find my own shoes so it's like and bruce is like thought you were a genius i'm like well i kind of thought i was too but you know such is life so much for my genius skills, y'all. And this is kind of uh, kind of uh, foaming up a little bit because I got water in here, but it'll come out. So I just decided since I got that darker colored background, hey, we learn as we go. Kim, no truer words have been spoken in my case. None. I'm going to tell y'all how old I am. I am so old that I went through college and never saw a computer. So... The first time I ever saw a computer is when I went to quote my first real job. That's the first time I ever saw a computer. So, and it is, it's been, it's been pretty rough ever since as far as technology, y'all. <laughs> I, I would like to say it got better, but you know, I don't know, you know. So what I did is I've got the light yellow here and I did my polka dots in the mix of camel and yellow for my polka dots. Then I did that mix and camel here for my background. And then I did white polka dots. So really, it's just kind of whatever you like. But I don't think these things really get cute till we put bows on them. And um, I'm going to show you how to make the world's easiest bow known to man. And it, it, the bow will be about like this. And to me, that's really what makes it cute. But I'll be on doing that one day next week. So we've got our gray, number 24 gray right here, which is what I base coated that in. And y'all know I'm not going to be happy unless I just do a little bit of shading. I didn't bring any shading or shaders over here because I forgot I was going to do I didn't think I was going to do any shading. So I'm going to do just a little bit. I'm not even going to do much. Just kind of run a little bit of paint like that. Just to give it a little flavor, if you will. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to even be perfect about it. It's kind of just throwing it on there. Okay. So that's my shading, which is the number 24 gray with some black. So it says, well, you're better at, you're better at live than I am, Kathy says. <laughs> and Kim says, hey, but we love you. Thank you, Kim. Uh, Leticia says, no worries. I call them uh, Lucy moments and like, and I love Lucy show. You know, so true, uh, Leticia. I had never thought of it that way. And Paula says, I saw a computer for the first time in college and Mexico in 1996. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. And it doesn't mean that I can't learn because I am learning, but uh, it just means that I don't have the intu intuition about technology that a lot of the young people have. So when I ask my kids about something, you know, they're like kind of roll their eyes. Mom, you just go over here, touch this or touch that. And I'm like, well, how did you know that? And they're like, Mom, everybody knows that. Okay. Well, apparently everybody knew that but me. So I've just taken this paint and I'm going up and down that CNC line right here with my script liner. I'm not really putting any quote shading on this part. All I'm doing is just going and giving it a little bit of an outline. Giving it some personality as they say. Y'all, if you've read any of my posts this week, y'all know I've had a rough week as we all can from time to time. And um, the best thing I can say about this week is it's almost over. 
So we had to put down one of our pups. He was 13. He wasn't a puppy, but, you know, he's still our pup. And uh, we go down to the Alvin vet, and uh, he's been our vet for a long time. And Debbie says she still calls her kids for help. Yes. Debbie, if we didn't birth them for some reason, I don't know what it was because we need help sometimes, you know. Um, anyway, I was thinking about outlining this in white, but I've just thought better of it. So here we, we've got that mixture of camel and yellow. So I need a little bit darker, I think. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a scoop of that. And I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of reindeer. Yes, Mark. Um, and so we had to put him to sleep. And y'all, I am like the softest, hardest, soft heartedest person when it comes to any critter. Um, and so, you know, I was boohooing. Uh, the vet was trying not to boohoo. The vet tech was boohooing. You know, buddy, he, that's our dog. He was just looking at us because we were loving on him and stuff. And, um, and I held it together. Uh, okay, I guess. And then Bruce started booing. So then I was like, oh, when a man starts crying, mm -mm, mm -mm. So that was the kind of day we had Wednesday. And we, we went ahead and put him to sleep. He had congestive heart failure and he had tumors. And he had gained 13 pounds in three weeks because all that fluid was, you know, backing up. So um, anyway, yeah, it, it is. Uh, this week has just been mm, crazy. So I just did a little bit of um, that mixture and I put a little bit of reindeer brown. I don't want this to be real dark, but I do want it to be darker than the base co base color of paint I have right here. Now, rather you like the more traditional looking pencil, like the one I'm on right now, that's got the darker look to it, or you like the little bit lighter pencil, either way. I thought, ah, oh, we'll just do it both ways because there's nothing like having a... Um, a uh, two examples to look at. So I'm going to come on next week and I'm going to talk to you about the bows and show you how to do the bows. But I'm also going to tell you and show you a little bit about if you decide to put names on here, what you can do to help make your names look good. Thank you, Terry. She said hugs. Paula says, I don't like technology either. Debbie says payback. We taught them. Yes, they could teach us. Absolutely. Hey, Dolores. Hey, how are you? Um, thank you for joining me. And, um, so t next week when I do the bows, I'm going to kind of give you some pointers. Doesn't mean you have to, but like, let's say you want to put like in my case, Miss Amick on here and you don't know how to do that. So I've got a pencil and I'm going to go over this next week, not right now, but next week. And basically I'm going to show you, I would just write it as you're going to write your name, you know, then once you have it written out, like in, uh, this is a charcoal white pencil. You could use another kind of pencil. The reason I have this is it comes off real easy if you don't like it. Um, yeah, I love that there are a couple of ways. Exactly. And you could write Miss Amick with the pencil, just so you know, like you would normally write your name. And then you could pick the brush up, the script liner, if you wanted to, and come back and then overdo it. But I'll be doing that next week when we do the bows. So uh, y'all hang on for that. I'll come back on next week. All right. So I've got that looking good, I think. Now, obviously, I've got to do the tip of my pencil. And for this, I mixed, uh, let's see, i got it written down. I mixed camel with this, 70% uh, camel and 30% nutmeg. Now, you can obviously do whatever color you want. It. You don't have to do the colors I do. But if you're interested in that, and doing the colors that I did, let's see, I'm going to show you what I have on the back. On the back, you can see, that's the label where I show you exactly what I did, if you want this color. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this. And uh, tomorrow we have a paint party at the store doing the interchangeable truck. And uh, that party's been sold out for a while. So we've been kind of, you know, doing a lot of double duty, kind of getting ready for that because we have to we have to do some base coating on the round for that. So that's what I've been doing. And then, of course, with the whole dog thing, I got kind of knocked off my mojo on Wednesday. I didn't know for sure the vet was going to say put him down, but I kind of went prepared for that because I knew the dog was not doing good. 
so I called Ashley and Carly and I said, y'all need to come say your goodbyes. And they're like, but, but you don't know what the vet's going to say. And unfortunately I said to Ashley, I said, you know, or it might've been my sister Paula who said it to me, or I've said it to Paula. I can't remember. You know, one of the things about getting older in life is that you have a lot of life experiences and my life experiences told me that the vet was not going to do anything for this dog because the vet couldn't, not because he wouldn't, but because he couldn't. And of course, when we got there, he shook his head, you know. So unfortunately, it's kind of one of those. It's really not hard to tell when you see the animal deteriorating right in front of your eyes. So we decided to go ahead and put him down because he was not in, secu in acute pain now, but he was very, very close. And he could barely breathe because he's panting all the time because he has got congestive heart failure and tumors and all of that. So he was panting all the time. You know, like a dog might pant to cool down after they run. He did that all the time. And then his stomach looked like he was about 12 months pregnant. So that's the, that's the you know, and I know that you, everybody who's had a pet at some point, we, we all have to go through it. But y'all, it sucks. All right, so I got my black on here and all I've got left really to do is come in here and I'm just, you don't even have to do this part if you don't want the black or you're not good with the script liner because putting the black on there kind of makes it a little bit more, gives it a lot of definition almost, kind of covers up some of that paint. And then I think I would just kind of do this, dot, 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 as opposed to just making a single line, just because I think it looks a little bit cuter. Um, so anyway, y'all, it has been kind of a crazy week, and um, I'm really kind of ready for it to be over. Ready for it to be over. And I don't know what it is, y'all, but when a man starts crying, who jeez. And my husband is not a crier. I repeat, not a crier. But he, he gets, you know, shook up, too, with the critters. But when you've had an animal for 13 years, y'all, that's a long time, you know. So, but y'all, my animal, this is, I can honestly say, anybody who knows me or has been to my house knows that this is true. That animal that I had to put down, he had a great life here. He had it really, really good. And um, so I'm very glad I can honestly say that. You know what I mean? Because it's not, not every animal gets that. So anyway, um, I still miss him. And I have a feeling I'm going to still miss him for a long time to come, y'all. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of white on this guy, these two guys, and these are, and uh, they are at the store, I think they're $10 each if you want one. Let me look here, make sure I ain't lying to y'all. Hold on a second. Well, heck, there ain't a price on either one of these. I think they're $10, and they are for indoor use. They're not for outdoor, y'all, but school's coming up, so it's kind of one of those really cute. Now, if you happen to have like a cricket or a silhouette or a vinyl machine of any sort, and you want to put names on that way, that's a, another way to do it. But in my tutorial next week, I'm just going to assume for the folks who don't have a Cricut, because a lot of people don't, or any vinyl machine to put letters on, I'm going to kind of go over what I would do if you wanted to put somebody's name on here, because I think, I think most people are going to want to put a name on. And I'm just going to kind of come in here like that, just putting some white. Just a brush stroke. And then I'm going to come down here on the tip. Uh, she says, we lost our 12-year-old. Oh, no, Charlene. Girl, when you say we all cried, mm -mm, you are you ain't lying because I get it. I, I, whenever, y'all know I was going to boo-hoo because I'm just a baby. But uh, whenever Bruce started crying, it's like, and then the vet was like, opening his eyes up like this, like he was a good girl. It's like, you know. All right, Ava says, where are the Joyce Snowman templates? Okay, so Ava, if you go to yardarderrust.com, you're going to see a, a navigational bar. There's a lot of words right there, and it'll say, you know, holidays and Christmas and whatever. 
you want to click on the word template. Now, when you click on that word template, you're going to have a flyout menu that kind of comes over here to the right. So when you click templates, fly out here is going to come to the right and it's going to give you all the seasons. Now you want to go to Christmas. When you go to Christmas, it's going to give you another fly out because we have that many of them. So, oh, Debbie's got them there. Thank you, Debbie. So you've got to go to digital downloads, digital template downloads. Then you've got to go to Christmas and then you got to go to snowman. So hopefully that, that helps. It's kind of, if I don't organize them that way, Ava, what happens is as we put more and more templates in there, they all just get meshed together. And then when you get 150, 200 templates and something and you can't find anything. So those templates, especially in Christmas, they're going to be organized by elves. Uh, they're going to be organized by Santa. There'll be Santas. There'll be elves. There'll be candy canes, I think, or something called Christmas traditional. There'll be snowmen, Texas theme, all of that. So we tried to section those out so you wouldn't be scrolling forever and ever and ever. So template downloads, then find Christmas, and then find snowmen. Hopefully, you'll be able to be successful doing that. So I got my two pencils. I'm going to come on next week. I'm going to show you how to put a bow on each one. I'm going to show you how you might, if you want to put names on it, I'm going to give you a kind of real simple way to do that if you're not very good at lettering, which so many of us are not because lettering is a, you know, totally different thing in and of itself. You will get two pieces of hardware on the back that you will have to glue on and you'll have to put a rope on here. And if you want a bow, you'll have to put a bow. Some people put bows, some people don't. I'm just going to give you a short bow tutorial that literally anybody can do anybody you just have to have the, the ribbon so anyway i hope you guys like the pencils i want you to have two different looks for those of you that have been thinking about joining the academy it closes tonight at 12. Um, if you choose to join the academy you get two free templates a month you get two tutorials sometimes three sometimes a zoom call but any of those of you that are in the academy make sure you mark your calendars june 17th uh i'm sorry July 17th, June 17th, sorry to pass. July 17th, we have an in-person paint party at two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. And we're asking you Academy folks that want to come, bring whatever you want to bring. And, uh, oh, she says, I'm going to sign up. Yay, Kelly, sounds good. Yeah, they clo it closes tonight at, at 12. Um, so anyway, bring whatever you want to bring on July 17th. I say bring what you think is your problem piece, right? That piece that you're like, okay, I bought this, but I have no idea what to do with it. I promise you, if you'll bring it, Ashley and I will make sure you get well on the road to finishing it. Um, Charlene says she joined yesterday. I'm so excited. Yay, Charlene. You're going to see all kinds of stuff in the back on that uh, Yard Art Academy website. Do not get overwhelmed. There's a lot of stuff in there. You don't have to digest all that right now. Take your time. July 17th. Yes, ma'am. Two o'clock, Paula. And uh, bring bring your problem piece. If you have a problem piece, I say bring that piece of yard art. And bring wine if you want. I, honestly, I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm thinking I'm going to bring some wine. Um, it, you know, it kind of always helps you a little bit to maybe enjoy the day a little bit more than if you didn't have a glass of wine. So anyway, tomorrow we have a paint party. So I know some of you are signed up for that. So I'll see some of you. I know Debbie signed up for that and some other ladies are. If you want to do the interchangeable paint party, Hold on now. I think I still have a few more slots open for um, next Saturday. I don't have the, the slip ins because Connie's working on those, but it would be a heart for Valentine's Day, eggs for Easter, Christmas tree for uh, Christmas. Oh, Lord. I don't know. All the difference. I think there's seven interchangeables here. So if that's something you want to do, you can sign up. I think I have a few more slots left for next Saturday. It's a 22 inch round door hanger. Okay. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I've really enjoyed it. And thank y'all for letting me talk about my dog and all of my, oh, a flag. Okay. Nicole says she joined today. Yay, Nicole. Kim says I might just come and hang out. No problems yet. Yeah, come on, Kim. Hey, just come hang out and uh, we can always gossip. Or as Bruce says, he, not, he lovingly calls it jibber jawing. He's like, what are y'all doing out there? Why are y'all jibber jawing so much? It's just a nice way of saying, why are y'all talking so much? So anyway, but yeah, July 17th for the Academy members that are local. And those that are not local, 
what we want to do in July, we will try and schedule you if you want, <clears throat> either with me or Ashley for like 15 to 30 minutes. We can get on a Zoom call and we can help you walk through something if you're having trouble. We have no problem. Uh, she says, David says, I wish I could, but I live in Virginia. I know, I know, I know. That's so hard, isn't it? And um, and it's, you know, it's kind of weird because we have Academy members all over the place. I think we have one, some in New Jersey, California. So they're everywhere, you know, and which is awesome. And, you know, the, the cool thing about it is uh, I did a thing maybe two days ago showing academy.com, yardofacademy.com and what's in there and all the videos and all that kind of stuff. And so there's a lot of information in there. But the, the best thing is that I always say as far as the Academy, Sometimes painting can be a solitary act, but being a painter should not be solitary. In other words, when you're painting and you get stuck, because I still get stuck. And sometimes I will text Ashley or, or Miss Victoria or somebody. And, and, you know, it's just part of life. You get stuck and it's like, what, what do I do now? OK, this didn't turn out the way I thought. Or, you, you know, you post something, you say, OK, I need help. I need suggestions because this ain't this ain't looking good. So anyway, but yeah, July 17th, and uh, I'll be on here next week showing y'all how to put a name on here and how to put a boat on here. Hope you guys have a great weekend. It's going to be hot outside, but still hopefully you have a great weekend and we will see y'all later. Bye.